YouTube, Zed the Epic Gamer here. Welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. This one's actually a lot more complex, as you can see here. But as you probably know from the title, this is a Redstone Rainbow Wave machine. So here it is. As you can see, lots and lots of repeaters, no Redstone dust whatsoever, lots of observer blocks and sticky pistons up here. So what we do is we press this either side, it doesn't matter. But we'll do this side. Wait, and there we go. It's a bit glitchy, but as you can see, we can do it from this side too. It will go up in a wave, and it'll come down again. So yeah, that's the wave. We'll do it one last time, because it's so awesome to watch. Yeah, so it's a wave, so it goes up, goes down. So let me get straight into a tutorial. Let's just find an empty spot. Here we'll do what you're going to need is a block of choice to put your button on. I'm using blue concrete. A wooden button, redstone repeaters, sticky pistons, and the observer block. So we're gonna start by placing down our block of choice for the button, place a button on either side. Then we're going to place four repeaters, set them all to four tick delay, four ticks delay. They're gonna place an observer block facing like that. They're gonna place seven more repeaters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All on one tick delay. Then right here, we're going to place seven repeaters. I mean, not repeaters, observer blocks next to that. Now, we're going to come here, place down our repeaters, seven rows. So all in front of these observer blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you're done that, you're gonna stand on this observer block, go into sneak mode or crouch down, jump, and place a observer block. <laughs> then you can just fly and make sure they're all facing up, not sideways, and place all of them above the repeaters. like that. So if you're wondering how this thing works, basically when you press this button, or that one, I'm just gonna destroy that because I don't want two buttons, but these repeaters will go, this observer block will observe the redstone signal, which fires on these repeaters. These observer blocks will observe this redstone signal, which will send out a redstone signal to these redstone repeaters. These observer blocks will observe that redstone, which will send a signal to these sticky pistons that we're gonna put on top of all the observer blocks. We're going to place blocks on top and it will push these up one by one and then pull them down. So you can use any color. If you wanna make it rainbow, I'm using concrete, so I'm using red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. You can only have seven colors because there's only seven rows, seven by seven. So I'm just gonna place it like this kind of checkered formation. But you guys can do it however you want. It's completely up to you. You can do it just blue, just red. You can do it black and, black and yellow if you want, whatever your heart desires. Anyway. Let's, oh, I forgot to put, and make, it's very important that you make sure you get all the corners and do not forget like I just demonstrated. So you won't have room for the last, your last color on this side, but here it is, and all you have to do now is press this button and watch the magic happen. Like that, it'll pull it up one by one then pull it down one by one. So that is your working, fully working redstone uh, rainbow wave machine. So I might put no redstone dust in the title for clickbait, but I might not. So yeah, using the observer block, said the Epic Gamer. Wait, let's make an awesome outro. Said the Epic Gamer. 
out.